man who brought us the movie Inconvenient Truth. He is the man who is hugely responsible for the awareness of climate change. And in a recent interview with Bloomberg Television, he said that American democracy has been hacked by the influence of money in politics. I am totally behind getting money out of politics and making corporations act responsibly. Unfortunately, I'm not so sure Al Gore is really behind that sentiment. You see, Al Gore helped start the TV network Current TV in 2004. This year, he sold it to Al Jazeera and pocketed 70 million bucks personally from the sale. Al Jazeera is largely funded by Qatar, a country that largely makes its money from oil. You know, that thing we keep burning that Al Gore says is changing the climate and dooming the planet. He also holds an undisclosed number of shares of the Occidental Petroleum Corporation, which is reported to be valued somewhere around a million dollars. And he flies around the globe on jets powered by lots and lots of fuel to give speeches for which he charges 175,000 bucks a piece. In 2004, Gore and a former Goldman Sachs director co-founded an investment fund called Generation Investment Management. The fund is supposed to incorporate sustainability into its investment approach. The fund has about $8.5 billion in assets under management, which include holdings in Procter & Gamble and Colgate Palmolive, packaged goods giants, not green companies. It does have some green investments, but is known to sell them off if they don't turn a profit quickly enough. In 2007, the Tennessee Center for Policy Research published Gore's Nashville Home Utility Bill, showing that it used almost 221,000 kilowatt hours in 2006 alone. That's 20 times the national average household consumption. And that's just one of his homes. He has several, and they are all very large. All told, Al Gore is worth over $200 million. And not all that money is so very green. He's pretty much as rich as Mitt Romney, the guy everyone said was so rich that he was out of touch with real people. Being someone who doesn't covet money or appreciate corruption, I agree with the sentiment Al voiced recently about how too much money is corrupting our government. But let's all just remember that that applies to everyone who makes hundreds of millions of dollars working a corrupt system, whether they're coming at it from the right or from the very righteous, slime green left. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.